Hey everyone, I am here. I am snowed in, and so I figured I would take an opportunity to uh, talk a little bit about audio, what I use for audio. Um, in fact, audio was the number one hurdle for me to overcome when I moved to digital SLR. Um, I already knew I wanted to get the TTY. It was the most affordable, plus it had all the features that I really needed. Um, but in the audio department, uh, it got hammered a lot because of the automatic gain control that's on board. And um, um, to be to be fair, my JVC Vario also has um, automatic gain control, but it wasn't as severe and harsh. Um, it didn't. It wasn't extreme as as the audio samples that I'd heard from from the TTY. And so I needed. I knew I needed to have a solution because of that. Um, there are two ways to disable the automatic gain control on the T2i. Um, the first is to take a stereo splitter cable, plug it into your microphone jack, and on one channel you have uh, take an old MP3 player and you play a file that has a constant tone, um, like a 20 kilohertz or something, just constantly going in. Um, and then on the other hand, you, on the other channel, you plug in your microphone. What that tone does is it, it tells the automatic gain control that it's it's too noisy, so it lowers the, the gain. And what you're left with is a very, very crisp, clear audio signal on the other channel. Now, when you when you edit your footage in post, you have to take that out. Um, but the advantage of that is that you don't have to deal with anything extra. It's all, you know, the, the file that you get from your, your camera, the audio that's part of that file is, is, is a good sounding audio. So um, that's one thing. I didn't really want to do that, though. Um, the second way to disable the automatic gain control is to use a firmware hack called the Magic Lantern. Now I've done a lot of research on this and I have, I'm totally, 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 totally wanting to do this. Um, every time that I feel really tempted to do it though, I, I go to their website and I go to download it and I'm confronted with this big glaring warning. This may break your camera. This may damage your, your camera. This may ruin it. And I don't have any other cameras. This is the only one that I have um, since I sold my other stuff. I can't really afford to damage it. Now, my fears may be unfounded. I know there's lots of people who have used the Magic Lantern firmware update, and it works wonderfully for them, and I'm happy for them. But um, until I get something that, that I can use, if this, if I, if this does ruin my camera, um, I'm not going to be making that jump. Well, I decided to completely circumvent the entire automatic gain control issue entirely by going with a third option, and that is using an external audio capture device. Now, I did a lot of research, and I came up with getting this one. This is a uh, Zoom H4n. Um, it is an amazing piece of gear. Not only is it a field recorder, a multi-track recorder, it's an audio interface for your computer, it's, um, if you're a guitarist, um, it has uh, tuners and, and amp simulations and effects processing. Um, it, it's all even got onboard editing. You can edit your, your, your stuff too, although I prefer doing it on the computer. But it's just really amazing. Now, obviously, the most prominent feature are the microphones that are on board here. They're situated in an XY pattern. Um, they create a nice stereo image. You can actually adjust that stereo image by rotating them. Um, to either a 90 degree position or a 120 degree position, which was really nice. Um, but that's not what sold me on this. What sold me on this device particularly were these. These are phantom powered XLR inputs. I use condenser microphones when I do interview work, so that's that's what I that's what I need. Um, now um, I said this was a, a, a field recorder, but in actuality, this is a really sucky field recorder as is. Um, be the reason why is because these are very very sensitive microphones and if I if I go like this These microphones will pick up that as noise and it'll just totally totally ruins ruins the thing You, you can't even be in outside and there's it has to be net if there's just a little breath of air It'll ruin it'll ruin your audio signal It does come with a foam windscreen, but it doesn't do a very good job. So you have to return to companies that make um, these kind. This is this is made from a company called Redhead, and they, they're out of Hawaii, and it's basically a fuzzy um, windscreen for the Zoom H4n, and it works really well. You can be in a pretty stiff wind, and you're not gonna you're not gonna hear it. Um, in fact, I was totally blown away when I when I listened to uh, 
recordings I've made with this and without it. It's, it's, it's amazing. Um, and I like the fact that I can use this as a fill recorder because it can give a lot more depth to my productions by capturing the ambiance of a, of, of a forest um, or of a restaurant or a train station or anything that might add that kind of extra depth to the soundscape of my production. So I really like this. Um, so that's basically what I use. Um, even if I were to be brave enough to hack my firmware um, um, for, for my camera, um, I still think that I probably would still stick with this. Um, oh, I forgot to mention this. It does have mounting capabilities. Um, this would be very difficult to mount otherwise. It does have a quarter 20 hole in there. It comes with this thing. This is a microphone stand adapter. Um, it can go into a standard microphone stand or I've used it um, uh, on, in a shock mount for, for, for a shotgun mic shock mount. And that way it doesn't pick up any vibrations of this because again, this is, these are really sensitive. This will pick up everything. Um, they do have um, external remote controls. They're wired that you can use and that'll even eliminate more of the sound. Um, I actually have an idea of where I'm going to be putting this one. I have a shoulder mount um, that I will discuss in a future, a very soon future video. Um, and I'm going to discuss how I'm going to, my idea for mounting this to there. Um, so anyway, there it is. There's, there's my audio um, situation. Um, I don't really have an elaborate setup. I don't really require one. I most of, 95% of what I do is interview work, which requires one microphone and the camera. So um, it doesn't really, you know, this is kind of overkill, but it does give me freedom to do more if I want to. If, I, if I'm interviewing two people, I can use those two microphones. Um, so if I'm, you know, it's just, it's, it's a nice, it's a nice, uh, addition. So I mean, thanks for your support and thanks for watching.